Welcome back and let's go ahead and dive on into those current temperatures because as you're getting up and getting out the door this morning, you're going to need your heavy jacket, hats, gloves, scarves. We're in a wind chill advisory until noon today. Air temperatures down below zero for us. Macon has fallen throughout our first few hours so far and now they're down to one below zero. Kirksville three below. Our coolest areas still across southeast Iowa with Centerville coming right on in at eight below zero. Those wind chill values though are what are going to be the main factor for today. We're going to be looking anywhere from 10 below right now across Milan and Macon towards 20 below. Atumla has been holding on to that 20 below feel for a good chunk of our morning hours, and we've seen them actually dip down below that even further as we've seen the winds pick up just a little bit here and there. Overall, though, we're not looking at as strong of the winds as what we saw the yesterday. As for today's high temperatures, we're going to struggle to reach in towards the double digits for a lot of our areas. Unionville and Lancaster, more about nine degrees is what I'm looking for. And then across areas like Milan, Kirksville, and Edina, very, very close to about 10 or so degrees for the high temperature. And just about the same across areas of Southeast Iowa, looking at about eight or nine degrees for most of you. As for tonight, we're dropping back towards about zero degrees for your overnight low. So warmer than where we're at today. Wind chill values though, still between one and 10 degrees below zero. And then as for tomorrow's high temperatures, very, very similar to what we're gonna be experiencing today. We're gonna to look for about 10 or so degrees for the high temperature. The main difference will be across Southeast Iowa where they are expected to push in towards 10, 11 degrees for your high temperatures. As for the future cast, we're newer models starting to bring in a little bit more moisture for that snowfall later on today. We're gonna, we're really starting to see that pick up a few more uh, in for our area and we're gonna see a little bit more development off towards the east, out towards areas is like Ottumwa and Bloomfield as well. So we are, while it's not showing here on our model right now, we are looking at other ones extending that development out. So do expect to see snow across areas of Ottumwa, Bloomfield, and maybe out towards Fairfield as well, but not as much. Maybe a few flurries towards our easternmost portions of Southeast Iowa, but we're really gonna start to see some development right in the middle uh, towards Wapalo County as well. And then as we get through that, we're gonna start to build in some high pressure as we go through in towards Saturday. And once that high pressure moves out, then we can start talking about the precipitation that we're going to deal with on Sunday. Now we're just going to start off cold enough for some snow and then as we head in towards early Sunday morning, temperatures starting to warm up in towards the 20s. So then we're going to start to transition in towards wintry mix as well as freezing rain. We're going to continue to warm up on Sunday in towards the upper 30s, potentially even towards 40. But through most of our Sunday morning hours, we're cold enough to really be concerned with some wintry mix as well as freezing rain. Freezing rain totals, well, still going to be a factor will not be very high. We're looking at a few hundredths of an inch in terms of freezing rainfall, but it will still make an impact, especially across our uh, areas that are have a lot of bridges. So Ottumwa, higher elevation areas as well. That's where you'll see a lot of that making more of an impact. So most of the rain though, passing off towards I-70 and south. What you can expect in terms of rainfall amounts is gonna be just about a quarter towards a half of an inch across areas like Highway 36 and then down towards I-70 and then below I-70 is where you'll get in towards the uh, three quarters of an inch. Now, taking a look at snowfall amounts, a few hundreds is what we should be concerned, or a few tens is what we're gonna be concerned about. Pushing up towards about a quarter or so could be what we see. Precip amounts heading in towards the weekend though, We'll start off with most of the rain falling across our Northeast Missouri area. And then as we get farther and farther in towards Sunday, that's when we're gonna bring more and more of it in towards our Southeast Iowa area as the temperatures start to warm up. As for your extended forecast, 38 degrees for Sunday, and we're gonna stay in the low 30s for the start of next week. Now stick with us, Tech Bites is coming up next. 